we're not moving? That's a question that I've been getting quite often, and we're going to tackle that in today's video. But first, this video is sponsored by McAfee. I wanted to take some time to talk about the McAfee Total Protection. It keeps you safe while staying online. It defends you against the latest viruses, malware, spyware attacks. Y'all, I know y'all like, girl, you talking about computer and cell phone protection? I'm always on the computer because this is my life, this is my job, and I wanna feel safe whether I'm traveling or at home, I wanna make sure that my banking information is protected, y'all. I wanna make sure that my passwords are protected. Y'all know y'all always on your phone or y'all computer all the time. Shoot, you watching this video on your phone or your computer. So you wanna make sure that you have that protection that can hold passwords, your banking information, you know, your pictures, anything. Cause I know some of y'all be gotten them pictures in your phone that don't need to be there, but you wanna protect yourself. How you feeling? Now I decided to step outside the house, get some fresh air and work outside the house today. So if you are logged into an unsafe network, you want that automated privacy. McAfee will automatically turn it straight on so you don't have to worry about remembering to turn that extra protection on. And then when you're at home, you wanna make sure that your network is secured. So it's gonna have that firewall to block those hackers from accessing your home network. I hate when people are just so doggone nosy. It's like, stay out of my business. But people are like that. So you wanna make sure that you have that firewall that's gonna protect you. And they offer a single subscription that will cover everyone in your household, no matter how big or little your family might be. In this household, we have four computers, two cell phones, and four email addresses. So I wanna make sure that we are all covered and under one single subscription, that's amazing. I wanna keep my personal information protected and I know y'all do too. So what I want y'all to do is click the link in the description box to download McAfee and let them worry about security so you can enjoy your life online. And thank you so much McAfee for sponsoring this video. Now a mama's job is never done. If I'm not working on the computer, your girl is cleaning. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to do the kids laundry. Well, actually, I'm gonna fold it. I have the kids do their own laundry, like wash it and dry it, and then I fold it and put it away. So here we go. Now, um, I'm gonna try this a little different. You guys know that this is a Q&A, and I'm gonna try it a little different and do a voiceover because I know that I will be here for over an hour or two because I will babble if I'm sitting here talking and I won't get anything done. So I'm just giving you guys some cleaning inspiration, music in the background, while your girl asks, not asks, but answers a few questions that you have asked. Okay, see, I'm already all over the place, and this is a voiceover, how you feeling? <laughs> So the first question that I've been getting a lot of, which is kind of, it's kind of interesting because I did a whole video or more like a whole series of this. And the question is, we're not moving? And I'm like, what? People are really asking us that we're not moving and um, why are you still in Connecticut? I thought you were going to Texas. Like, why are y'all still there? I'm like, wait, what? I told you guys, y'all not paying attention. Cause I feel that if you know about Texas, then you've watched the videos. And in the very last Texas video, I told y'all, I told y'all that we are leaving in the summer of 2022. That's next year, 2022. I'm not all for uprooting my children out of school mid-year unless it was some type of emergency, unless I was married to a military man, then I understand that. But if you can stay in your state for a whole school year, do it and I can so we're not leaving until they're done with school so yes we are moving y'all know I had to title the video we're not moving I had to title it for a couple reasons I had to title it to get your attention so that if you had that question boom here's your video that you can get the answer and then number two I want views I ain't a girl boy I ain't lying I'm being transparent no cap being honest how you feeling that's how we do it on YouTube is to get views. But this is not clickbait because I didn't say we're not moving. I made it a question saying we're not moving because that's what you guys have been asking us. And I'm like, y'all, I think y'all be playing with me. I think y'all be trying to get me worked. 
just like how Eddie be doing. Like y'all know the answer, but you're just are y'all trying to do that to get a to get a reply? I'll reply to you, and if I don't have time to reply, I'll give you a heart. You don't gotta make up questions and comments to get my attention. Now the next question that I've been getting is why Texas? Now, like like I always say, every every question or not question every reason does not have to have a groundbreaking award-winning answer it's just as simple as i want to <laughs> i don't know i like i don't know what you guys want to hear from me but it's simply i want to i do have family in texas they will be a few hours from where we'll be moving to so they're not close i think it's like four or five hours away but i do have family in the state of texas um but i wanted to move there because i just wanted to get away i wanted to have a fresh start for my family i hate the cold like a lot of y'all be leaving comments like you gonna miss that cold girl you don't know what type of heat you stepping into it's like stepping into an oven it's like it's like stepping into a dryer girl you gonna miss that cold you gonna miss that breeze no i'm not like you may not like heat i like heat i love it when it's spring i love it when it's summer girl in my phone you know how in your phone how you have the temperature and it tells you the temperature in your town girl i even got the temperature in in houston and oh i'm just so jealous <laughs> i know you're not supposed to have jealousy in your heart but y'all i'm not even gonna say i'm jealous let me take that back because i'm moving there it's like it just make me not can't wait it just get me anxious i'm like you mean to tell me you can wear shorts while opening up your presents under the christmas tree and we up here wearing bubble coats and and gloves shoo you can't wear now i know that it will get hot in the summertime we will be sweating my edges will be drawn back my hair will be drawn up i ain't gonna be able to wear it straight i understand that but when you've lived like an eskimo for almost 40 years of your life i think you want to move to some heat and i'm perfectly fine with that i took my kids down there they fell in love lizzie picked up an accent real quick when she has some raisin canes she got crunk okay you know what i'm saying you guys could watch the videos of when we went down to um i was about to say florida when we went down to texas and I showed my family, they enjoyed it. My kids, they are so happy. And it's not like, you're taking them away from their fit, not, not family, you're taking them away from their friends. They understand they won't see them again and they're, they're perfectly fine with it. They can't wait for a fresh start. They are super excited. Um, and I don't know, it's, I want to, I just want to move. I, I, there's no groundbreaking award-winning answer as to why. It's, because I want to I don't know I've left Connecticut before so it's not like and I moved to the south for a couple years when I was married so it's not like this is something brand new and girl you're gonna be scared you don't understand what you're stepping into y'all must not know Kimberly I I am a risk taker not one of them crazy risk takers that'll risk your life like jumping out of a helicopter or an airplane I ain't that <laughs> that good with it okay but as far as taking that step to better your life taking that step to to have something different to move differently to move in another path like I've never been afraid never been afraid and sometimes sometimes I, I get a little scared that I'm not afraid you know what I'm saying sometimes I'm like is, is there something wrong with me because so many people come to me and be like girl this gonna happen this way or you ain't scared this gonna happen or blah 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 and I'm like dang is something wrong with me that I don't have those those reserved feelings like other people do but then I pray to God and I'm like no God you gave me that strength like that's a strength to to put your trust and your faith in him and that he will supply all of your needs so I'm not afraid I'm not scared I know it's gonna be hot y'all y'all tell me one more time of some doggone heat you're gonna get it okay because <laughs> mama hold it is coming to get you I'm not afraid of no doggone heat okay so it's like I don't know and, and it's like I'm raising my kids to not have that fear if you want something and you are mature and you put your mind to it and you work hard for it go for it I teach my kids that that's why a lot of y'all be looking y'all be looking at my kids like dang they can read so good or dang they so mature because they see it in me I don't want scaredy cat kids I want I want them to be strong and when I see that they're mature although Eddie is kind of immature sometimes because he play too much but he get that from me I guess him being a little boy he'll know how to turn it off but the the, the maturity and the way they think is so advanced um 
And I, I like that. I want to keep that going. I want to keep that going. So um, that's why I want to move to Texas. Point blank period. Because I want to. <laughs> now we're on to the next question. See, that question was, that answer was long for it to be because I want to. <laughs> but I just wanted to explain it. Okay, the next one is, well, what about Las Vegas? Y'all, it's hilarious how people say Las Vegas because I never said Las Vegas. One person even attacked me and said, oh, you're supposed to be a woman of God, but you want to go to Sin City. You want to go where they gamble, where 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 the devil roam. I'm like, you need to calm down because there's not one time that I say I wanted to move to Las Vegas. I said I wanted to move to Nevada. Nevada, th- there's more to Nevada than Las Vegas. Since I'm not moving to Nevada, I'll tell you the town that I was looking at. I was looking at the town of Henderson, not Las Vegas. Although Henderson is not too far from Las Vegas, but it's not Las Vegas, okay? It's not Las Vegas. <laughs> it was Henderson. Oh, y'all see this right here? I just got to show y'all this real quick. Y'all see those <laughs> those um, stockings right there? I paused on it for a long time. This question was going to be at the end, but I guess I'm talking too long, and so I popped on that part. People are asking, where's Nana's <laughs> stocking? <laughs> you guys are getting crunk about this doggone stocking. Y'all. She doesn't have a stocking. She's not into like the decorative things and she didn't want one, okay? Y'all get crunk about that dog on stocking. <laughs> okay, now the very last question that I had was, um, did you guys end up finding a house? No, the answer is no. I did not find a house because the, the, I was about to say the stock market. The um, housing market is ridiculously ridiculous. It is a seller's market, not a buyer's market. And I'm not about to buy a house double for what it's worth um let's say i I, let's say i look at a house that's three hundred thousand, but right now it's worth 450 so when the when the housing market goes back into a buyer's market my house is going to drop in in value because it's not worth that much anymore but i'm not going to buy a house for almost double or even i'm not buying a house for even ten thousand dollars more than what it's worth okay that's not what i'm doing so right now when we move we're going to be moving into an apartment oh it's beautiful we're going to move into an apartment and then I will buy a house when the market gets popping. Right now, for my wallets, as a single mother, it's not popping for mama, okay? I can afford uh, an expensive house, but uh-uh, that's, that, that would be stupid for me to do that. So mama gonna wait, mama bear gonna wait. We're gonna move into a beautiful apartment and a beautiful, um, wonderful um, uh, school system. And yeah, and then we're gonna move into our house when the Lord tells me to go. So, um, I think that's it. I love you guys so much. Um, I hope y'all like this version of a QA. and a It was a voiceover, but at least y'all saw me doing something, you know what I'm saying? But I love y'all so much, and I will see you in the next video.